This is, so this video is going to be specifically for the Linksi WRT3200, right? When it comes to wiping it, one thing you guys should probably know is that this is one of the very few routers, in my understanding, that actually has a dual boot system. By dual boot, meaning like it can, it's, it's running, uh, it can have two separate operating systems installed at a time, basically, right? And what that's for is that in case something goes wrong when you're um, when you're installing the the OS or updating, right? You have a way to get back and your router isn't completely bricked. So to actually showcase this, I have OpenWart installed, right? And I had installed OpenWart on top of the, um, you know, the stuff that it comes with. So let's go ahead and we're going to look now. All right, so this is OpenWart. So I have OpenWart installed. And then if I just go to, you're probably not going to see this just because I have some extra stuff installed, but this is just to show you. For like the router particularly, right, as you can see, Right, see it has OpenWart 21.02.3 installed, right? And then you see this alternative link side. Now there's a package you can install in OpenWart in order to like have this menu you see right here. This is not default to OpenWart, right? You have to install this. So you wouldn't see this anyway, but if you install this uh, advanced reboot, you'd be able to actually swap between the two, no issue, right? Now, as far as like getting back to the other uh one without this install right let's say like you installed it the router works sort of right and you can't access this anymore you need to just revert back and do a clean install um what you do is i'm gonna show you right we need to do is you need to go ahead and you need to make it do a false boot three times right so this is going to be the first one all right so the way it works to see i turned it off in the back i turned it back on as soon as i see some kind of like light activity Right, which is that, so I'm gonna turn it off now. I'm gonna do that again, right? So now this is the second time. All right, cool. So this is the second boot going here, and there goes some light activity. So I see light activity, and I'm gonna turn it off, and now I'm gonna do it a third time. And now let's see here, right? And you have to do it three full times, right? So this is the third time, you see the light activity, cut it off, and I cut it on. So now that we did that, now, it should uh, it's going to boot into that other partition there's no uh, light indication or anything like that that shows it i'm going to go ahead and assume it worked right we'll know when it when it comes on <laughs> and we're going to try and sign back into the router um, obviously if the router shows us the default link side like page or whatever and not the open ward stuff then we know that that was that it that indeed worked um so I'm just waiting for this to come up, which I think it did. I had I have to do like extra stuff in order to get my router to give me internet. So it might not show that as internet access. And sure enough, right, because that's definitely that is not the IP address it's supposed to have. All right, so I'm putting in the address for the router, right? And look at that, right? And see that? Now it's giving me the link side. Of the link size stuff and once you get into you know you need to put in the default router and password whatever it is i don't know what's the i'd have to like do a quick google to see uh i guess it's admin all right so default is admin which of course you know you definitely want to <laughs> definitely want to change never leave the defaults on there but but that's how you actually access the second boot partition in your router which is super helpful when you want to go back to manufacturer firm, firmware or you want to like reinstall open wart one important thing to keep in mind is that open wart so whenever you install every time you install the operating system on this router it installs it on the other partition and then activates that partition so if i install open wart from here it's going to leave this intact and install open ward over the other partition right and then it's going to boot that one and that's the one it's going to use from that point forward now if i was to install like let's say open ward was if i need to upgrade open ward to a newer version when i install that one that one is going to overwrite this partition and then this partition is going to be no more um so if you always want to keep the link side like the manufacturer one like you know in the uh, you know um, on it then you have to boot back into this one and then install the new version of open what you're trying to do but then keep in mind of course that you lose you know you'd have to back up all your settings and stuff obviously if you wanted if you wanted to do it that way as far as I'm aware 
So with that being said, that is the end of this video, and I hope you guys learned a lot from it. Bye.